Okay, so for this one, as promised, we'll use Bernoulli's equation. And let's get right to it. It says, what is the pressure drop? Pressure drop. Due to the Bernoulli effect, as water goes down, sorry, as water goes into a 3.00 centimeter diameter nozzle from a 9.00 centimeter diameter fire hose while carrying a flow of 40.0 liters per second. The density of water is 1,000 kilogram per meter cube, round to the nearest whole number. Answer in units of Newton per meter squared. That's the same as Pascal, okay? So for this one, we have to use Bernoulli's equation because we have, um, we're gonna have a difference in pressure, right? Due to the cross-sectional areas, we're going to compare over here uh, two areas. Now, Bernoulli's equation just helps us understand conservation of energy when you have a moving fluid, okay? This is the pressure, this is the potential energy due to elevation of a fluid, and this is the kinetic energy of a fluid. Um, very similar to the formulas we know for potential and kinetic energies, but now we're using density instead of the mass, okay? And if I were to measure the energy here in this section, um, it's going to be the same as this section because the energy on the system is constant. Okay, at, at least for this situation, right, for school um, physics. And of course, so we're going to compare, so we, this is, uh, we can call this area one, right? This is the cross section of area one. Let's try it again. And this is going to be area two, this smaller one, right? And we know that the fluid will have a velocity. Um, let me use, use black so we can have some contrast. It's going to have a velocity here, right? Which we'll call velocity one. And we'll have another one for which I will draw a larger vector, right? So we don't forget that the speed of the fluid increases. And we'll call this one velocity two. And we'll know we'll have some pressure here, which is pressure one. And this one will have pressure two. Okay, this is the basic setup, well, the sketch. So now let's write down the given. Let's use purple for this one. I feel like using purple. Okay, so we have given. So we were told that we need to find the pressure drop, so we should highlight that one, right? Just, just so we don't forget, this is what we're looking for. We have to do Bernoulli's effect, I mean Bernoulli's, um, yeah, effect. And so we have water goes into a three centimeter diameter. Now, don't get confused, right? This is the smaller one. So this is cross section area. Well, this diameter is based on or is related to cross section area two. So then we'll call this one, the nine centimeters, diameter one. That looks like a P. So diameter one, that's a very ugly letter D. And that is 9.00 centimeters. And we have diameter two, which is 3.00 centimeters. And we have a flow rate. Now, flow rate is constant, so I don't have to label Q1, Q2, just Q, right? Flow rate is constant. So Q, shout out to Mr. Q. That is 40.0 liters per second. And we have density of water. So it's just one, one fluid, right? So I'm just gonna label density of 1,000 kilogram per meter cubed. Okay, now we know we have to compare, uh, compare um, energies on two different sections, which implies the equation for Bern the Bernoulli equation, or the, the, the version we have to use is the one that compares uh, Section one and section two, which we'll read as pressure one plus 
the potential energy due to elevation of height, right, height 1, plus the kinetic energy of the fluid, so V1 squared, is equal to pressure 2 times rho GH2 plus 1 half rho V2 squared. So I hope you guys see that we have the same height, right? So if we just draw the reference line here, right? We know the average height, if there's a reference line, I'm just going to delete it, Let's around. The average height from here to here, well, is the same as the height from here to the uh oh to the reference line right so we have the same heights again I'm going to delete it because it looks messy and we can say height one is equal to height two therefore we can cancel h1 and h2 the terms and our equation simplifies to Pressure 1 plus 1 half rho velocity 1 squared is equal to pressure 2 plus 1 half rho velocity 2 squared. So when they're asking us to find the pressure drop, right, pressure drop means the change in pressure, right, because we're going to see how much it is dropping how much it is changing negatively or it's decreasing, right? So pressure drop refers to delta P. And how do we find delta P? Well, delta P is simply pressure one minus pressure two. And maybe you're asking, well, why aren't, we, why aren't we doing pressure two minus pressure one? Normally we do find a minus initial. Don't forget, what is the relationship with uh, velocity and pressure? So we have a higher cross-section of area, lower velocity, therefore we have a greater pressure, and over here we have a lower pressure, right? So we, have, we wanna have a positive number, so we do the higher pressure minus the lower pressure. That's why we have P1 minus P2. Okay, well, to get P1 minus P2, I can subtract pressure 2 from both sides. There you go. So now, now I have pressure 1, pressure 1 minus pressure 2 is equal to, oh, wait, wait, no, I'm getting ahead of myself, plus 1 half rho v1 squared is equal to 1 half rho v2 squared. And of course, I want to have my velocities together, so I move the one half rho v1 squared by subtracting it from both sides. This cancels. Now we have pressure one minus pressure two. That is the difference in pressure or pressure drop. So I can say is equal to delta P. which is equal to one half density of water, velocity two squared, minus one half density of water, velocity one squared. And I can factor out one half rho, one half, one half rho. So we'll have one half density of water times velocity two squared. That looks very ugly, let's try it again. Velocity two squared minus velocity one squared. But guess what, we don't have the velocities, right? However, we can use flow rate, right? Flow rate to find the velocities. Right? We know that flow rate, which is blue, is defined as the area 
cross-section area times velocity. And we know that the flow rate is constant, so we don't have to label um, flow rate 1. We can just say flow rate is equal to cross-section of area 1 times velocity 1. Likewise, flow rate is equal to cross-section of area 2 times velocity 2. We can use that to find velocity. Okay. So we're using very simple algebra. I can see that velocity 1 is flow rate divided by cross-section of area 1. Likewise, velocity 2 is flow rate divided by cross-section of area 2. And to find the cross-section of areas, well, that is very simple because we know the cross-section of area would be a circle, so that would be find the area of a circle. For that, we need the diameter. Uh, well, we need to divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius, and then we have to convert it into meters. Okay? So let's find area 1 and area 2. So that will be... Mm, should I continue? Yeah, I'm just going to continue on this side. So let's find area 1. So for area 1, we'll have pi. And then to find the radius, we'll do diameter divided by 2 squared. So area 1 will be pi. Is that not going to be pi? Pi. Diameter, I'm going to convert it into meters, all right? So 0 0.09 meters divided by 2 we square it likewise area 2 will be pi sorry man what's wrong with pi that's okay that's the best I can do 0 0.03 meters divided by 2 squared Okay, and to make this faster, I know that my flow rate has to be in meter cube per second. It's in liter, but I know that one liter is equal to 0 0.001 meter cube. So if my flow rate is equal to um, 40 liters per second, I multiply 40 times 0 0.001, that is I moved the decimal point three places to the left, so one, two, three. So my flow rate will be 0 0.04 meter cube per second. Okay, it is 40, right? Yep, 40, all right. So now let's get those velocities right using all this stuff so velocity one will be flow rate which is 0 0.04 divided by pi where's pi pi's over here pi times 0 0.09 oh, i need to do that one and double parentheses so I can square it. Don't forget, guys, parentheses are your best friends. Divided by 2 squared. There you go. So it is about, let's round to 6 points. So we're using how many significant digits? 3. So 6.29. That's our velocity one, right? And then I'm just going to copy this one. And I'm going to change the diameter. I know I had done something wrong. There you go, much better. So we have our first velocity, 6.29. And our second velocity is 56.59. So velocity one is equal to uh, 
6.29 meters per second. Correct, that's what we got. Oh, so yeah, 6.29 and 56.59. That's velocity too. 56.59 meters per second. Okay, so now we can use those numbers and find our answer. So now let's substitute. Delta P equals one half P. Oh, wait, I'm substituting now, right? So density of the water, that is 1,000 kilograms per meter cube times, I have to use brackets, so that'll be velocity 2 squared, so it's 56.59 meters per second squared minus, let me move this so I have more space, minus 6.29 meters per second squared. So let's do that. So that will be one half. Oh man. There you go. One half times 1,000 times no print, no parentheses, so it's 56.59 squared, close parentheses, minus open parentheses, 6.29 squared. And that should be good. There we go. Uh, this is a big number. You expect a big number, right? So 1.58. Now I know on, on my on the question is that round to the nearest um, whole number. So you'd have to move the decimal place six uh, six the decimal six places to the right. Okay, but I'm just going to use scientific notation. 1.58 times 10 to the sixth. Or well, let's write the whole thing. 143. So, delta P equals 1.58, forgot what it was, 143, 143 times 10 to the 6 Newton per meter squared. And if I move the decimal six places to the right, I'll get Delta P is equal to 1, 5, 8, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I got 0. There you go. So either one is correct. This is the difference in pressure that you have on this fire hose, okay? And that is it. Don't forget, if you're given the flow rate, and you have the diameter of the pipe or garden hose, whatever you have, you can find the velocity. And that's it.